Hello viewers, it's uh, Jake here for Black Dog Walks episode 2. Before we go to the, the weekly roundup, which is basically all my video diaries from the week pushed together, um, I just want to say a few words just about sort of how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. So uh, I'm currently in a Premier Inn shooting this. Um, found a nice little quiet corner somewhere where hopefully no one will walk past. Um, and uh, I obviously didn't stay here last night, I slept in the field next door. So two weeks on the road, 14 days, and I feel great. I feel, I've embraced the tent life, I've embraced walking every day, the legs are holding up, I'm, I'm doing things slightly differently this time. You know, obviously I learned a lot about proper stretching and proper preparation and, and how to do it smart over the last six months while I've been working with um, a trainer, Chevy. Um, and uh, and it's really helped. Also boring. Okay, uh, what's interesting that's happened? Um, I just spoke to my friend Simon on the phone. He's uh, I bumped into him last time while I was walking through Carmarthen, uh, and he was coming the opposite way. He was doing his own challenge. He was running five thousand miles around the coast of mainland Great Britain. So, do you think what I'm doing is impressive? No, he's fifty eight. This guy. And he's just finished, he's got to the top of Scotland, so I've just been on the phone to him. Congratulations again, Simon, amazing achievement. Um, and uh, yeah, what else? I don't know, most of the stuff about the last week is all summed up in the videos. Um, the first video, I almost didn't put up because it's so embarrassing. Um, so pre please appreciate that it's completely selfish on my part, it's just for the lols. Um, Sorry for the word lols there. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, let's just let's just go straight to that. Here's here's what happened this week. Day eight. Today's been good. I'm on the Pendle Way heading north. And uh, yeah, I got invited out last night for a couple of drinks, which is really nice by some of the locals. And uh, had a few, didn't go too mad. And it's right. I and I feel okay today. I've got away with it. I haven't had much sleep though, because at the moment, when I wake up about eight o'clock, that's it, I'm awake. So I haven't had an awful lot of sleep. So I'm kind of, I'm pottering today. I'm not smashing the normal miles I would. My mood's good. I feel really good. I'm really starting to notice the benefits of walking every day now. Um, I'm getting a lot of sun. Obviously the endorphins from all the exercise I'm doing. And yeah, I just I'm just in a very good mood all the time, generally, with a hangover. Day nine. I'm in the city of Manchester. So I'm here for a few days uh, to do some admin. So obviously while I'm here, I can't do any walking, but I've got all this energy. So I was just in a coffee shop and I was looking at my map and I realized I was about three miles away from Old Trafford. Oh, kind of always wanted to see Old Trafford. That's nice. It's kind of what I love about running within a city. Like you get to explore it. Like, like even in Brighton, when I started running properly, you realise just how much you stick to the same the same pockets. It's good to get out and explore, even if it's in within the city you live in. Obviously, I'm not from here, but if I was just visiting Manchester for a day and I wasn't running, then I probably wouldn't have come here. So, another reason you should start running. Get out there and see some stuff. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for the day. This is Jake Tyler for Black Dog Walks at Anfield. Go on, you gutters! Day 11. So I'm in Manchester still. I spoke at a primary school today. I would have really liked to have uploaded some of that footage, but apparently that's illegal, so I can't really be doing that. Uh, and tell, tell them where we're going now, Chef. We are going to go meet a local running community in Manchester called Still Waters Run Deep. Um, as I always told the guys from Mold Over Mind Over Marathon, it is so much greater than the individual. It is about communities, it's about connection. 
and just sharing sharing a journey with others. So we're going to go introduce him to some really dope human beings, hang out. They're really dope. They're really dope. I say things like that. Do you? Yeah, They're yeah, really yeah. dope. Yeah, Is that yeah. where I got it from? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. yeah. I say I say things like man like Chevy as well. Man. <laughs> I say things like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, remember people, running alone sucks. Go find people to do it with. He loves me. <laughs> I'm here with Still Waters. Say hi guys. <laughs> it's the swarm. <laughs> In the MCR. Back on the trail again tomorrow. Day 12, so I'm back in the tent again, three days off in the city, which was nice. I really enjoyed it in Manchester. It's, uh, it's a brilliant city. I saw some friends there. I met some new people there. And um, yeah, overall it was just, it was pretty great. I left there this afternoon and um, I just had to get a bus to where I got to. Uh, I've just realised I haven't got anything to talk about, so I'm going to talk about beans. Um, so beans are nice, hot or cold. I'm having them cold today. Hmm. What's really great about beans is they're um, they're mobile, multi-pack. You probably deserve better than this. I'll see you tomorrow. Day 13, but a really great day today. I'm back on the Pennine Way, smashing some miles. Um, I found a really nice little spot to just chill for a minute. Because I'm back on the road again and just, I don't listen to music or anything really. Um, I like thinking a lot. And I think some, some days I think about things that kind of that bother me and but other days I, I think about you know when you just think about stuff that gets you really excited one thing I've really started to notice is how I'm feeling about the future at the moment when I'm at home and when I'm working you know I kind of I can be lazy man and I, I you know I can get up late and not really achieve much and it seems like the days just get away from me but at the moment I feel like the days are long and looking to the future is exciting because it feels like I've got way more time. But anyway, uh, I've got more than enough to be getting on with at the moment. I'll check in again tomorrow. Day 14. Sorry guys, I'm distracted because um, I'm probably, I'm about 99% sure I shouldn't be camping in this field. Everything about it screams privately owned. So what I've done is I've set my alarm for six I'm gonna get packed up and go and I think it's late enough that they won't actually know I was here I'm not gonna be you know I'm gonna be a good guest I'm not gonna leave anything behind I just don't want someone's fucking finger in my face in the morning going get off my land so yeah gives me very little time to describe my day which is all right because it's been pretty nothing really just walking walked along a canal lovely two weeks I've been gone today just realized that 14 days that's good um, yeah, feeling good on the whole, apart from this sort of sense of dread I've got at the moment about being shouted at. So, fingers crossed for me, please, that I don't get turfed out. Wow, what a week. Uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Um, I didn't get kicked out of the field in the end, which you'll be pleased to know. Um, I had quite an anxious night's sleep, obviously. Woke up a few times thinking that, you know, some... I keep having these really weird, like, fears. Like last night when I knew I was camped in someone's field and I was worried they were going to turn up, the thing I couldn't stop thinking about was, like, four people on quad bikes all coming over with baseball bats. Just being, like, ridiculous. Obviously that didn't happen. Woke up this morning very early and left. Uh, so, yeah, they won't even know I was there. Um, and I don't normally do that, I don't normally take risks. I mean, you know, I'm a little bit of a maverick, you know, I'm not, I'm not afraid to break the rules. Um, but generally I'm smarter than that. I, uh, I normally find somewhere secluded or a National Trust land. But it was getting late last night and I just had to find somewhere. But what else? Uh, I want to give a shout out to somebody, uh, her name's Harriet and she bought me dinner yesterday and a couple of beers don't even know her um so thank you harriet that really made my day um 
just little acts of kindness that are just sort of happening along the way. Yesterday I got a uh, comp to cream tea, of all things, like of all the most, of all the great snacks, cream tea is like, cream tea is like the king of snacks, isn't it? And uh, I was in a pub charging my phone yesterday and the lady just came over and just plonked it in front of me and was just like, on the house, love. Yeah, I think it's gonna take me a little while to get into the swing of these videos. I feel very awkward doing them. I don't feel, I feel like I'm missing a lot of stuff. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I kind of feel like I have to talk about my state of mind as that's the whole, that's the whole point of this. So I feel really good at the moment. I'm really feeling the benefits of walking every day the benefits of the sun, you know, sun is proven to, to boost your mood. Um, obviously, the endorphins from, the, from walking every day is great. You know, I'm just raising the serotonin and the dopamine naturally, and um, I feel good. I haven't, had, I haven't felt properly depressed yet. I've had, like, blue-ish moments, um, but that's, that's just it, isn't it? And I'm, just, I'm not beating myself up about those. One thing I've learned is that... Um, those bad moments or those bad days, you've just got to chalk up as bad days and move on. And one thing I really noticed before I started doing all this was I would count the bad days and not count the good days, if you know what I mean, because I assumed that the good days were, you know, I should have those, so I shouldn't be counting those, and I, I always put the bad days as I could kind of strike against. But striking off the, the bad days and, and, and allowing myself to feel good about the good days is, is really helping just me generally day to day. I mean, I mentioned in one of the videos about, you know, how getting up early and just cracking on and just starting the day on, a, on the front foot and the days just seem longer and it feels like more can be achieved. Um, and I really hope once this walk's all over, which you know it's far from um, but I really hope that I can sort of harness that mentality and carry that on try and get up early try and start the day early try not to just slob about till midday and you know but sometimes that's all you have to do and again it's not it's just about not beating yourself up when you do that sometimes sometimes I really enjoy doing that to be fair um, but on the whole so far, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, end of the second week. I feel really good to be back. And uh, yeah, thank you for your continued support. I'm really so, like, I've got so many messages and, you know, I read everything. I promise I read everything. Um, I just don't have the time to get back to everybody, I'm afraid. Um, but I do read everything and I massively appreciate all the, all the positive comments and um, people reaching out and telling me you know that they've been suffering with depression and how you know asking me for advice and stuff and and I, I feel I feel a certain obligation to you and, and I will try and get back to as many of you as I can but just but just know for now I do read everything and, and I massively appreciate um, all the messages um, so anyway I'm gonna wrap up because you've probably turned off already this is so dull um, I've got a big day ahead of me today I've got a hitchhike yeah down to um, down south because I'm doing an event with Heads Together called Walk to the Stones, which is uh, technically an ultra marathon, but I'm not going to run it because I'll do myself a mischief probably. So I'm going to walk it and I'm just going to be there. And um, yeah, but I've got I've got to get down there just off the kindness of strangers and hoping people are just going to pick me up. Normally works out okay. Um, so yeah, you'll find out. Oh, cliffhanger, nice. You'll find out what happens with that next week if you're not following me on Instagram. Um, cool. Uh, keep sending me messages and keep um, you know the support up. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone's well and wishing you a good week.